Okay, so my face looks weird because of my hair because I have my contour on and my mane, so hang tight. All right, it's not gonna be, I do have a little bit of purple. So I'm just taking that mango and like tap like that and then just tap that color right in your under eye and where that line is. Because part of color correcting is going to be getting rid of that that line, that dark circle line. When I'm done, this color may not look the way that it's supposed to, just because I'm trying to show you how thin. So this is what I see sometimes people do. They take that tin and they swipe it on there and they've got it on their finger and it's like caked. So then when they are applying it, it looks more like that, okay? And then they rub it in and so see the difference? I don't ha I don't need all of that. So then when you go in to use your brightening highlight, take that paintbrush side and really lightly go over and come down. And you're like following that line. And then go like this on the outer corner. Okay, so you're just feathering that over. Okay, and then I'm just following my eyeshadow line that I already did, made. I'm gonna make sure before I rub anything with my fingers that all that mango is off. I can actually just use my finger to go like this. And then it just blends together. So I kind of only really have two layers of the makeup on the inside and pull it down and then feather it up. So I'm gonna come in and feather all of that brightening highlight under my eye, in with the mango, down and up, over my nose, and it's blended. Now, here's what I also do. Because I already have oily skin, the translucent powder that you probably have, you can take Show me what that is, but you probably can take this side of your blush bronzer brush and swirl it in there and finish it off. So I was a powder girl too. It took me a while to get used to the way the cream sat. So vanilla dust and this brush, this is a translucent iridescent setting powder and it sets that cream all day and prevents any creasing from happening. And then I take it and I put it right here and I come down my marionette lines. Here's the other weird thing too. Dry shampoo. And it's gonna set it all in place and it helps it not be like that it helps kind of give that powdery finish that you're maybe used to try that with the under eye because see how it's really just a second skin layer like you can't see anything compared to here let me know if that works